Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm looking at the Arizona Cardinals and determining who I think they should be drafting at number 16 overall in the upcoming NFL Draft. But before getting into that topic, question for those of you viewing, it is well known that the Cardinals just acquired all-time defensive end J.J. Watt, so another fight is on the table between J.J. Watt and one of his tough opponents he will have to outmatch in the NFC West, Aaron Donald. J.J. Watt versus Aaron Donald, who wins that brawl? Comment down below and I will reveal my answer at the end. But getting to this topic, having number 16 overall and having a Cardinals team, you know, that's committed to their quarterback and Kyler Murray, their offensive line is solid. DJ Humphreys, Kelvin Beacom, they just got um, Rodney Hudson, basically stole him. Their receiving core is solid. DeAndre Hopkins, AJ Green, Christian Kirk, don't know what Larry Fitzgerald's doing. Then on the defense, you got JJ and Chandler Jones, Isaiah Simmons and Jordan Hicks holding down a linebacker position and Buda Baker and Malcolm Butler in the secondary. So all around, the Cardinals have some star power talent guys in each position on their team. So there's no absolute necessity. Of course, there's some weaker areas. But since this team is pretty well-rounded, I think they will go with the, the best available player, not the most needed player, in my opinion. At 16 overall, that's really what you're probably going to end up, end up with. You're not going to get the number one lineman or number one corner or number one receiver. But you could get the second or third best guy at their position in the upcoming NFL Draft. You have to assume some early names that definitely won't be available. Of course, like I said, they won't be looking at quarterbacks. I'm not even going to mention Lawrence and Wilson, Trey Lance, and the other dudes. But some other positions that the Cardinals might have considered, however, they don't have, they're don't. they not even close to even getting them as Penny Sewell or Sean Slater. There's no way he's around, in my opinion. Um, Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase will likely be taken. But that doesn't mean, you know, a Patrick Sertain, a Caleb Farley, a J.C. Horn doesn't slip. And then you have a corner that can help you know, upgrade this secondary to the next level. You did lose Patrick Peterson, and you did sign Malcolm Butler. However, Malcolm Butler does not replace Patrick Peterson by any means. It's a good addition, but not a, you know, exact great replacement from Patrick Peterson by any means. I'd like to see them, you know, go maybe, maybe Micah Parsons. You already have Jordan Hicks and Isaiah Simmons. So that linebacker core is pretty well-rounded and already pretty well-led and you don't need much more in that front seven, but Micah Parsons is a special talent, so I'm for it and I'm against it because you don't need it, but it's not like he's gonna hurt your team by any means. So if he slips to 16, that has to be tempting, but he's a guy who might not slip as well. He could be definitely picked in the top 15 picks. I do think Sir Tana Farley, like I just mentioned, will be snatched up, but a JC Horn could be available, a really athletic corner that could really replace Patrick Peterson but still be you know eight years younger than him so that would be a great replacement have Malcolm Butler teach him a few things you got Buda Baker to hold down the safety position a couple other guys the offensive lineman like I said is pretty solid DJ Humphreys and Kelvin Beacom they really held their own last year for the mo most part and the Rodney Hudson acquisition for the Raiders was basically a steal in my opinion you could maybe look at interior lineman like Elijah Vera Tucker and Christian Darisol would not be a pick you can always take a young left tackle that can help out your team but to me, interior line would be the better move if you're looking at offensive line, and that would be Elijah Vera Tucker. But even him, even he might not be available. And Rashawn Slater, of course, that would be the ideal guy because he, he could play one through five on the offensive line. But there's no way Rashawn Slater slips through, you know, the Jets, the Bengals, the Chargers, Eagles, Lions. There's no way he falls that deep and falls all the way to the Cardinals at 16. Even, I believe, 15 in front of them, the Patriots will sweep up and take Slater. So, overall... You could also add to the defensive end position. You did acquire J.J. Watt and Chandler Jones, but those guys are up there in age. They'd like a new young guy to come in and take some snaps. You know, Quiddy Pay, Jalen Phillips, Gregory Rosso, any of those three guys would really be on the radar for their Cardinals. I had them picking one of them three at 16 for a while in the NFL draft, but since they added J.J. Watt, that's definitely not been on the top of my list, but it would not hurt to add them. You already got a good pass rush with J.J. Watt. And Quiddy, or excuse me, and Chandler Jones. Well, who's to say it can't be become one of the best pass rushers if you add a Quiddy Pay? All or in summary, though, like I said, there is no specific position that is absolutely needed. If you go Quiddy Pay, that's a good route, but you don't need him because of Chandler Jones and JJ Watt. If you go JC Horn, secondary would probably be my number one number one option if I'm the Cardinals because of the loss of Patrick Peterson. But even then. It's not like they're dying for a safety or a corner. They could use one. Malcolm Butler can hold his own for the most part, and we know how good Buda Baker is emerging to be. Linebacker core, Michael Parsons, like I said, would help lead it, but Isaiah, Isaiah Simmons could become the leader of this defense very soon, in my opinion. Then on offense, that's where it could get interesting. You do have a good receiving core in DeAndre Hopkins, 
Christian Kirk's a speedy wideout, and we don't know what A.J. Green will rebound back to. But if you go, go out there and get a super fast Jalen Waddle or Devontae Smith, this could go from one of the better receiving courts to one of the best receiving courts in the NFL. I'd love to see Kyler Murray have the weapons of D-Hop, Devontae Smith, the Heisman winning um, wide receiver, A.J. Green, who's past his career, but it's not like he doesn't have hands anymore. He might not have his speed. He might not have his athleticism. But he could sure damn well catch the ball if Kyler Murray could get it to him. And like I said, Christian Kirk, not the most dominant receiver, not even the best slot receiver in the NFL by any means, but with those double teams on DeAndre Hopkins, a double team on Devontae Smith, a one-on-one -on -one matchup for Christian Kirk, a, die, a guy who has a lot of speed could get open and win that matchup and be one of Kyler Murray's top targets. So I'd love to see them either go secondary to help out the corner position or on offense in the receiving position. And there's some speculation, well, how good is a running back Chase Edmonds going to be after the loss of Kenny Drake? Should they explore Najee Harris or a Trey Sermon or Travis Etienne? And I do think you should look at them possibly later in the draft, but at number 16 overall, I think it's way too soon to go running back, especially when you have a coach like Cliff Kingsbury, who is very confident that Chase Edmonds could fill the position of Kenyon Drake. You might not even to, might not need to even draft a running back. So, hands down, my number one pick would either be Devontae Smith or a cornerback if available. If it if Patrick Sertan, Caleb Farley, and J.C. Horn are all gone, I would move off the cornerback position. Yeah, there's some other guys out there, but you're getting a little too far down the stretch and just reaching out for some guys that really shouldn't be 16th overall. Those are the top three corners. You don't really want to go past that when you have this good of a pick in the NFL draft. Outside of those guys, I would look on offense at Jalen Waddle or Devontae Smith. Both have risks. We've seen Jalen Waddle be injury prone. He got hurt in college. That could transfer over to the NFL. And Devontae Smith, while he hasn't really gotten hurt in college, with his very slim frame, he could very well be a guy that gets hurt in the NFL and becomes injury prone. However, none of us know until they have until they actually play in the NFL and have a career there. I could be wrong on both, and they could both pan out to be the top two receivers in the draft, and it's not even close. I'm not sure. I would take the risk on it just because we don't know. It could have just been a flu. It could have just been a coincidence. To me, I'm going secondary, then I'm going receiver, and then outside of that, I would probably go pass rush to help out J.J. Chandler Jones. Not a necessity, but they would sure hell appreciate having a Quiddy Pay or Jalen Phillips or Gregory Rosso on that defense. But you can't go wrong. I think it's just going to boil down to them picking the best available player. They're probably not even going to obviously they'll consider position, but I think pure talent over what position they play will be the overwhelming factor in determining who the Cardinals go with. And if it all boils down to it, go offensive line. You already got Rodney Hudson, and this is now becoming a pretty solid offensive line. Make it even better and give Kyler Murray one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. You can never have enough protection for your quarterback, especially a running quarterback who likes to scramble and get out of the pocket, give him the guys that can block so he doesn't get blindsided out of nowhere. That would be a good route as well. But overall, I'm going with him taking a corner, then a receiver, then a pass rusher, then an offensive lineman. And if all else bails, go with the guy at the top with the top talent in the NFL draft. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think will go on the defense? Do you think we'll go on the offense? Could they trade? That's always an option, trading up or trading down. If someone fell and they want to go up for him and officially grab him, or if some guys, if the quarterback fell and someone wants to trade up and switch with the Cardinals, that is an option as well. A trade is always a possibility. But like I said, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And for the fight, J.J. Watt versus Aaron Donald, this might be different when J.J. was in his prime, but given their age, J.J., what, probably coming on 32, I'm going to go with the younger cat and Aaron Donald, who's been the reigning defensive player of the year for the past three years or something like that. Definitely going to go with Aaron Donald, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Two and one.